Well, hello everyone. Welcome to therapeutic yoga class today. We are going to do a nice, delightful yoga class using a chair. So technically it is a therapeutic chair yoga class, but we are going to just gently move all of our joints of our body through their available range of motion. That's kind of my goal for today's class. So today's class should be a very rejuvenating class for you. Maybe not too much tension since we're not going to be doing a lot of focus on strengthening and stabilization, but you should feel nice and loose and hopefully relaxed at the end of class. So what you're going to need for class today are basically four things. You're going to need a chair to sit in, preferably without arms and preferably without wheels. You're going to need a yoga strap for the very beginning of class, and you're also going to need a yoga block that we're going to use to do some stuff in sitting as well as your yoga mat for the end of class when we make it down to the floor. Now that I've said all of that, have yourself a seat in your chair. Have it so that you're using the front half of your chair. So if you looked at the length of your leg bone, approximately half of that leg bone is situated on that chair. Place your feet on the floor so that they're approximately hip distance apart. That's two fists between your knees. And then those second toes line straight up with those um, kneecaps. And then allow yourself to kind of sit nice and tall. Take a moment here to get a nice good lumbo pelvic or neutral position through your pelvis and your low back. So just allow yourself to kind of slump yourself back really poorly and then sit up and roll that pelvis forward as you lift that chest. So kind of like a modification of, of a seated cat cow, but go through those pelvic rolls for me two or three times. And then identify for yourself that point where you really feel like you are sitting straight up on top of those sit bones. Get your spine nice and tall and then allow yourself just at your hip joints. So nice and low, just gently hinge yourself forward until you cannot pick your legs up off the floor. That way you've got weight through your base of support, through your feet and your legs. Let's get a nice good position of our shoulder girdles for a second. So go ahead and take your hands and kind of place your hands in the center of your heart for a second. Take a nice deep inhale, lift your arms up and raise the roof. Place your hands in your ceiling, towards the ceiling, and then gently exhale down, bring them to cactus pose, and then keep pulling them down as you pull those elbows into your back pockets today. Give a nice, beautiful, tight squeeze through those shoulder blades. Now today, before we let go of our arms and the squeeze, allow yourself to also lengthen your neck and settle your chin. And then once you have all of those components, slowly derotate your arms, keeping your shoulder blades engaged. Place your tongue on the roof of your mouth and put a smile on your face. All right, so we're gonna start nice and easy with our hands here. So see if you can maintain that beautiful neutral alignment in sitting. Gently bring your arms up like you're about to do something fun like jazz hands. And what I want you to do is close your fists for a second for me. And then take a nice deep inhale and open your fists and spread your hands and every finger as wide as you can. And then as you exhale, just gently close them. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling, opening, spreading out every one of those fingers and exhaling and closing. And one more time, inhaling and then exhaling and closing. Very nice. With your elbows, inhale, straighten those elbows out. Exhale, take those fingertips and touch them to your shoulders. Inhaling out, nice slow breaths, nice slow movement. Exhaling, fingertips to shoulders. And inhaling. And exhaling. And one more time, nice slow inhaling in. And exhaling out, keep your fingertips to your shoulders. Let's do circles with your elbows here. So you can do clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever feels good for you, because we're gonna do both directions. So slowly inhale, lift your elbows up. And then as you exhale, bring your elbows down in that circle, three more times in that direction. Inhaling elbows up and exhaling elbows down. Inhaling, lifting the elbows up. Exhaling, bringing them down. And then finally, inhaling them up and then exhaling them down. Now figure out your opposite motion for me. So inhale those elbows up and then exhale them down. Very nice. 
Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Two more. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Don't worry if you hear some nice good pops and snaps. It's a good thing. Inhaling up. And exhaling down, really nice. Relax your hands down. Take your left hand to your right knee. Take your right hand and just place it to the back of your chair. Take a nice deep inhale. Sit up nice and tall. And then as you exhale, just gently look over your right shoulder. Take a nice deep inhale here. And exhaling out. Inhaling, unrotating the head first, and then exhaling, unrotating the trunk. Nice and easy. Right hand outside of left knee, left hand to the back of the chair. Take a deep inhale, lengthen through that spine. And then on the exhale, just gently rotate your head over the left shoulder. Holding here for a breath, nice deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. As you inhale, unrotate your head, and then as you exhale, unrotate your trunk. You've got it. Okay, so go ahead and grab your strap. Let's do a little bit of opening through those spinal uh, joints of our neck. So allow yourself to take the strap and place it up and over the right shoulder area so that the strap is laying right next to the neck on the right side. We're gonna just kind of get our muscles back in the right position and then open up through our neck with some movement today. So allow yourself to wrap the strap around the front of your right hand and then kind of rest your hand so that it's at about a 90 degree uh, angle with your elbow, kind of like the position if you had a sling on, if you can imagine that. And then also wrap it with your left hand and then just kind of have it down near the side of your body today. And then once you have all that, check in that you still have weight through your legs. And then gently allow yourself to side bend your head over to that right side on top of that strap. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, holding the strap on the right side, pull the strap with that left arm, maybe straighten that left elbow, get those triceps engaged. As you pull all of those neck tissues posteriorly, meaning behind you where they should be. Now we're gonna do gentle movements today. So no aggressive stretching, but we're gonna go through some movement with some breath. So take an inhale, bring your head to the upright position. And then as you exhale, gently bring your left ear to your shoulder. Inhale, lift the head back upright. Exhale, left ear to the shoulder. One more time, inhaling, lifting the head upright, keep pulling that strap backward, and then exhaling, bringing that left ear to the shoulder. Now keep that left ear to the shoulder, take a nice deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, turn the chin towards the armpit. Inhale, bring the head back so that the ear is towards the shoulder, but you're just unrotating. Exhale, chin to armpit. And inhale, unrotate, but keep the side bend. And then finally, exhale, chin to armpit. Inhale, bringing the head all the way back up. Exhale, relaxing the strap, flipping that strap around to the opposite side, finding that position with the strap so that you're kind of like in sling position. I guess we could call it that with the left arm. Make sure that strap is sitting right next to your neck so you're gonna get the most amount of muscles of that neck as possible. Wrap it around the right hand next to the side of the body. And then when you're ready, just gently side bend the head over that strap. Take a deep inhale here. And then as you exhale with that right hand, pull that arm down. Use those triceps on that right side to pull all those neck muscles back or posteriorly. All right, so let's, Inhale our head to the upright position, and then exhale, side bend, right ear to shoulder. Inhaling back up, tension is off the neck here, off the joints. Exhale, put the tension on. And finally, inhale, lifting up. And then as you exhale, put the tension on, keep the tension on this time. Now we're gonna do a right rotation. So keep that right ear to the shoulder, take an inhale here, exhale, chin to the armpit. Inhale, unrotate. Exhale, chin to the armpit. And inhale, unrotate. 
and exhale, chin to the armpit. Inhale, bringing the head all the way back up. Exhale, relaxing the strap. Now, take your strap and fold it in half. If you have a really tiny strap, then you may not need to fold it. Mine's an eight-foot strap, so I usually fold it in half when I'm going to do what we're doing next. And then bring it so that it's in both of your arms, approximately shoulder width. Now, I like to wrap the strap around my hand so that I'm not using my gripping or my, my, my wrists or my hand muscles as much, but I have about that shoulder width distance between my strap and my hands. All right, now make sure you've got that weight through your feet. Let's take a nice deep inhale and lift that strap up, but you're trying to pull that strap away at all times. Then as you exhale, lean over to the left. What a beautiful stretch to that right shoulder. Now don't cause yourself pain. Hold it right here for me. Take a nice deep inhale into your chest and your right side body. And then exhaling out. Inhale, lift the strap up. Exhale it over to the right side. Keep pulling out on that strap so you're engaging those shoulder muscles. Holding it right here for a breath. So take a deep inhale here. And then exhaling out. One more time, each side inhaling up, exhaling to the left. Maybe pull a little further this time. Nice deep inhale through the side of the body, exhaling, holding it here. Final time to the right, inhaling up. And then exhaling to that right side, stretching that whole left side body. Take a deep inhale into that area. And exhaling out, and then inhale it up and relax it down. Do a couple shoulders for your circle, uh, circles with your shoulders. They probably feel a little warm, maybe a nice little bit of burning in them, which is exactly what you want. Now, take your strap and make it as wide as you can and hold it. So, if you want to unloop your, I mean, unfold your strap, you can do that but you now want your strap much wider than shoulder width. You've got it. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're really going to open up our chest and our anterior body. This is a little bit easier for those of you that had difficulty what we just did, because maybe you have a bit of shoulder impingement. This is much easier on the shoulders because your arms are wider. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take that inhale, lift that strap up, and then Pull that back like you're trying to pull your body forward and reach your arms back. Stay right there. Take a deep inhale in. Love your pectoralis muscles right now. And then as you exhale, slowly come back down. Let's do that one more time. Same deal. Really see if you can get that stretch in the front of your chest. So keep the tension pushing the strap out as you do that. Here we go. Nice deep inhale. Really lift nice and high. Lift that chest. Pull those arms back. Reach out with that strap. Take a deep inhale there. And then very slowly exhale and drop it on down. You've got it. Okay. So now let's take this strap and do something fun with our lower half of our body. So take the strap somewhere in the midpoint, bring it underneath the arch of your foot, and you can just hold the strap like, you know, two little horse reins on each side so that you have the usage of your biceps to lift your arms. So we're going to do a little bit of a bicep curl uh, and a little bit of a hamstring lengthening. So now make sure you feel like your pelvic is in a neutral position. So don't have yourself that you feel slumped at all in your chair. All right, we're ready. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to inhale, bicep curl that leg up. Exhale, lengthen that leg out and stretch and lengthen through that hamstring. Inhale, bicep curl, hold that leg. And as you exhale, really slowly push that leg down as you're strengthening through your biceps. You've got it. Now, if you feel too much tension in your wrists, same thing as when we were working through your neck, strap and circle that strap around your hands. This is all about your biceps and your hamstrings, your elbow joints and your knee and hip joints here. Let's give it a try. We're gonna do three more times before we switch to the opposite leg. So take an inhale, use every bit of biceps to pick that leg up, the leg is heavy. Now, as you exhale, Kick that leg out. Can you get your knee straight? 
Inhale, use your hamstrings to pull it back inward. And now as you exhale, super slow, push that foot down, strengthen through those biceps. You've got it two more times. Inhale, lifting the leg. Exhale, kicking that leg outward. Inhale, slowly control that leg back inward. And then as you exhale, really, really slowly push that foot down as you're strengthening through your biceps. Let's do it. Inhale, lengthen that leg. Is your neck long? Is your chin tucked? Exhale, push that leg outward. Don't let yourself roll back. Inhale, bend that knee. Keep the alignment of your ankle and your knee. And then exhale, really push down. Use it to get your biceps as much as you can. I forgot my count, so let's just do it one more time. <laughs> Inhale, lift up. Use your biceps only. Make the leg heavy. Exhale, kick that leg out. Inhale, bring that leg back in. Now exhale, push that leg down. Give yourself the best bicep strengthening you absolutely can. You got it. Take a break. Bring the strap down and around underneath the left foot. We're doing it all over again on the opposite side. Adjust your hands. Maybe open up and spread out through your fingers a couple times if you feel like you're gripping too hard. And then let's do this all over again on this side. So remember, the leg is heavy. Go ahead and get yourself in a neutral pelvis. Make sure there's weight down into your right leg so you can't pick it up. And you're ready to go. Take an inhale. Biceps curl as you lift that leg up. As you exhale, kick that leg out. Inhale, bring that leg back inward. Exhale, really push that leg down as you strengthen through those biceps. All right, three more times. Inhale, biceps, pick that leg up. Exhale, kick that leg out. Inhale, bring it back in. And exhale, push and push and push and strengthen through those arms. Two more times, inhaling, lift it up with the arms. Exhale, kick it out with the quadriceps. Inhale, pull it in with the hamstrings. And exhale, really strengthen through those bicep muscles one last time. Inhale, pick that heavy leg up with those arms. Exhale, kick that leg out. Can you get the knee straight as you stretch through the hamstrings? Exhale, pull that leg back in. And finally, it, um, it, that was an inhale. Exhale, push the leg back down. So much so, so, so much I could, didn't get the last breath right. That's all right. Okay, guys, we're done with our strap. So just kind of fold your strap up, move it away from you. Go ahead and take your right foot and place your right leg up and over your left knee. We're going to do a little opening through our toes before we get to using our yoga block in a few minutes. So right foot is on to the left leg. Take your left hand, index finger between your first and second toe, ring finger or middle finger between second and third, ring third and fourth, and finally get that pinky between that fourth and fifth um, toes. Once you have that there, allow the right hand just to hold on to the left shin so your leg doesn't slide off. Sit yourself nice and high. And then with your hands, what I want you to do is I want you to squeeze through all of those four foot bones as much as you can. Spread out all of those toes. Get so much, so much stress from being in shoes. Keep that squeeze and then start to do nice big circles with your ankle. So as you're doing those circles, we're moving all of those gorgeous joints of our ankle and our feet. Allow yourself just to breathe normally as you're doing this, maybe three or four circles in one direction. Keep squeezing and then go ahead and reverse your direction and do three or four really nice circles in the opposite direction. Once you have finished that, kind of give it one last squeeze. Take a deep inhale in. Exhaling out. And then let go of those toes. Uncross that leg. Place the right foot on the floor. Take the left foot up onto the right leg. Right index finger between the big and second toe on the left foot. And kind of keep that going until finally you get your Pinky between the fourth and fifth toes. Left hand, place it on the front of that left shin bone to kind of keep your leg nice and stable. 
Go ahead and start a nice strong fist. Squeeze and open up all of those metatarsals. Those are the bones of the front of your foot that get overstressed when we're in shoes too much. Okay, now hold that tight squeeze and then start to really open up those ankle joints. So do nice, big circles, three or four in one direction. Keep doing those big circles and then reverse your direction and move that ankle joint in the opposite direction. Three or four times, once you've made it around about that, rest it in the position in the center, tighten the squeeze even more, take a deep inhale in, and exhaling out. You've got it, release the fingers from the toes, gently uncross the leg, Grab that yoga block. We are going to play with a yoga block and some movement of our body. Now, here's the whole focus of the next couple of minutes of therapeutic yoga. You're going to be moving and coordinating and breathing. So if you're doing all of that together, goodness sakes, hopefully your mind is concentrated and focused and not worried and stressed and doing all that stuff. So Take your yoga block and place it in your right hand out to the side of your body, left hand out to the side of your body. Can you please check in with your posture and make sure that you have a neutral posture in sitting position? Very good. So we're going to move with breath. In yoga, that is called vinyasa yoga, but we're going to do just some movements with our arms and legs and our breath. So lengthen your neck, settle your chin, take a deep inhale, reach the arms up overhead, take the block now to your left hand, and then as you exhale, bring the arms back down. You've got it. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms come all the way up, transfer the yoga block back to the right hand, and then as you exhale, bring them back down. Now, can you get your breathing to go perfectly through this movement? Inhaling, 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 switch the block, and exhaling, and exhaling, and exhaling, and exhaling. Beautiful. Let's do it. Inhaling, inhaling, and inhaling. Switch the block and exhaling, and exhaling, and exhaling one more time. Inhale, 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 switch the block, and exhale, and exhale, and exhale, and exhale. Inhaling, 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 switch that block, exhaling, exhaling, exhaling and exhaling. You got it. All right. Uh, let's see how coordinated you are with your hands and your legs together. So here's what we're going to do. Place the block in your right hand. You're going to inhale, lift the right leg, exhale, bring the block underneath the right leg, drop the right leg down. You're going to inhale, lift the left leg, Exhale, bring the block underneath as you bring the leg back down. So we're doing a figure of eight of the block through the legs. Excellent exercise for motor coordination for anybody that may have the beginnings of Parkinson's, tremors, that type of stuff. You're using both sides of your body. Super awesome skill. And all we're doing is making it a little bit more therapeutic yoga-ish by adding the breathing. All right, are you ready? We're gonna go through it four times. Let's give it a try. Inhale, lift the leg block underneath. Exhale, dropping the leg down. You got it. Left leg, inhale, lift the leg block underneath. Exhale, dropping the leg down. Very good. Inhaling, lifting the leg block underneath. Exhaling, dropping it down. And inhaling, lifting the leg block underneath. Exhaling, bringing it down. Two more rounds. Inhale, lift, block underneath. Exhale and down and inhale, block underneath. Exhale and down. Final time. Inhale, underneath. Exhale and down and inhale, 
underneath and exhale and down. Beautiful job. Now take your feet wider than your chair. Place your yoga block straight down in front of you. We're going to do a nice, good forward fold, and we're going to support our head on that yoga block today. So allow yourself to feel that you've got your entire pelvis with a little bit of space in front of that chair so you don't fall off the front of the chair. Again, this is why there's no wheels on your chair. Take a nice deep inhale, lengthen your spine. And then as you exhale, start to curl your chin towards your chest. Curl that rib cage all the way downward. Feel the weight on your hands, on your thighs. Once you get your shoulders near your knees, gently drop your hands down. And can you rest the crown of your head on that yoga block? Gently resting your hands to the side, gazing straight back. Get that neck nice and long. Let's go through some beautiful breathing here. So take a nice, deep, slow inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Deep, slow inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Now push into your feet, tuck your tailbone under, engage those abdominals. And very slowly, Start to curl yourself up one segment at a time until you have yourself all the way back up. Lengthen that neck, settle that chin finally until you're back up into a seated position. You've got it. Okay, where that yoga block is, we are now going to use it to do a gentle spinal twist in sitting. Now, there are certain orthopedic populations that should not do this. So if you're someone that has a lot of uh, lateral deviations of your, cur of your curve of your spine, so that would be somebody that may know that they have scoliosis, maybe not the best thing to do because your spine is going to be compressed. Also, individuals that have a lot of stenosis or degenerative changes in their lumbar spine, this is maybe not the best thing to do. But here is who it is great for. Anybody that has digestive issues and not so bad of the spine, give this a try because we are going to wring our guts out, which is such a beautiful thing to kind of get this all moving. So let's give it a try. So place your hands on your thighs, bring your rib cage over your legs. So you should see that your shoulders and your knees and your ankles are approximately lined up with one another. Keep your right hand where it is right now. Take your left hand and place it down on that yoga block. Now, in this position, allow yourself to make sure that you don't have tension in your low back. So roll your pelvis forward so that you can feel maybe a little bit of tension into your gluteals or hamstrings, but there's no tension in your low back. All right. Now, right arm. Bring it out to the side of you, turn your gaze, and look at that right thumb. Now, here's what we're doing. Push yourself away from that yoga block, engage through your trunk. Take an inhale, lift that right arm up towards the ceiling, gaze goes with it, wringing out those guts. And then as you exhale, bring it right back down. We're going to stay right here. Push that left arm away from that yoga block. Inhale, lift that right arm up. And then as you exhale, coming back on down, one ring of this side of your gut. So push that yoga block away from you. Inhale, lift up through that right arm. And exhale, coming back down to that neutral position. And then relaxing down, switching the hand. So now place the right hand on that yoga block. Allow that belly to come forward between those legs so your spine is not in an end range flexion position. Take the left arm out to the side of the body. Turn the gaze towards the left thumb. Now, right hand and yoga block. Push yourself away. Take an inhale, lift and reach up with that left arm. And then as you exhale, bring it back down. Right hand, yoga block. Push yourself away. Inhale, lifting, lengthening through that left side. Exhaling, coming back down one last time. Inhale, push through that yoga block. Inhale, lifting up through that arm and gaze goes with that thumb. 
exhaling, bringing it back down, slowly dropping the left arm down, push into your feet, use your abdominals and bring yourself back up into a seated position. Did it. All right. We are officially done with our yoga block. So you can just gently move it out of the way, but we are not officially done with our chair yet. So bring your feet back in so that they are approximately hip distance. So we're gonna go through a little bit of a variation on what I would call sun salutation. So I'm gonna kind of take you through the movements slowly one time. And just like we did with that yoga block, doing movement with breath, we're gonna do the same thing to try to get a beautiful seated sun salutation to happen. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to inhale and bring your arms up. And then you're going to exhale and bring your hands down onto your thighs. You're gonna inhale, straighten your arms, lift your chest, gaze upward. And then you're going to exhale and bring your body back down over your legs. Once you've done that, you're going to take your right leg out. You're going to inhale your right arm up. And then you're going to exhale, bring your right arm forward. You've got it. Kind of like, you know, stop in the name of love. <laughs> then you're going to inhale, bring that arm back up. And you're going to exhale and bring the leg and the arm in. Finally, this is the fun part. We're going to do a modified downward dog in a seated position. You're going to go crazy and you're going to inhale and bring both arms forward, both our legs out to the side and exhale and come back in. Let's try that on the left side. And then we're going to really try to do it with breath. You ready? So inhale, bring the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, hands onto the thighs. That's the first step. Second step, inhale, go into that modified cow pose, really lengthen gaze up. And then as you exhale, imagine that you're trying to do a cat pose. Okay, here's the hard one. As you inhale, left leg goes out, left arm comes up in the air. As you exhale, that left arm goes forward. You got it. Inhale, lift that left arm back up. Exhale, bring that left arm and that left leg in. Here we go, that crazy downward dog movement. Can you inhale and bring it all out? And can you exhale and bring it all in? You got it, guys. All right, so just have fun with it. You're moving your entire body, really kind of rejuvenating it and getting it ready for your day. So we're gonna go through two rounds on each side. If you get lost, don't worry. Just pick right back up and smile. And just remember, you are doing something positive for your mind and your body. All right, here we go. Arms out to the side. Take a nice deep inhale. Lift nice and high, reaching up to the sky. And then as you exhale forward, fold those hands onto those thighs. Inhale, lifting up. Lift that chest. Straighten those elbows. And exhale, curl that spine, find that modification of cat pose. Right arm, right leg. Inhale, lift them up away from the center of your body. Exhale, bring that right hand forward. You've got it. Inhale, lift that right hand back up. And exhale, bring those both inward. Modify downward dog. You ready? Inhale, go wide. Get it. And exhale, come back in. Very nice. Arms out to the side. Inhale, lifting nice and high. Exhaling, forward folding, hands to knees. Inhaling, get those elbows straight. Really lengthen through your body. And exhale, curl, 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 curl. Left arm, left leg. Inhale, reach them up and out. Left arm, exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, lifting high. Exhale, bring them both in. Downward dog modification. Are you ready? Inhale, go wide. And exhale, come back in. Very nice. One more round. We're going to start with the left side first. Ready? Arms out to the side. Nice deep inhale. Get up there with those arms and reach. Exhale and forward fold. Gaze down to your toes. Inhale, straighten those elbows, lengthen through that spine, find that opening of your body. 
exhale and curl and curl and curl and curl downward. Left arm, left leg. Inhale, lengthen it up and out. You got it, great. Exhale, arm out and forward away from you. Inhale, lift that left arm nice and high, both of them together, exhale, bring them back in. Crazy modification of downward dog, you ready? Inhale, lengthen it out, yes. Exhale, come back in, beautiful. One more round, arms out to the side. Take an inhale, nice and high. Can you feel yourself energizing? Exhaling, forward bend, gaze at your toes. Inhaling, lifting nice and high, straighten those elbows as much as you can. Exhale, curl, 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 curl down. Right arm, right leg. Inhale, lengthen them up and out. Right arm, exhale, bring it forward. Beautiful. Inhale, lift that right arm back up. Exhale, bring them both in. Okay, last time, make it as big as you can and smile as big as you can. Ready? Inhale. And exhale, come back in. You did it. Beautiful job. All right, let's do a little bit of opening through these hips before we make our way down to our mat. So take that right leg back up and over that left leg. Left hand holds in front of that left ankle. Right hand, just gently place it to the top side of your right thigh. Now roll your pelvis forward, sit up nice and tall. You may already be feeling what we're trying to achieve here. But if you've got a little bit more mobility of your hip, take a nice deep inhale. And then as you exhale, gently push that knee down a little bit more. You've got it. Take a deep inhale into your belly here. And exhaling out. One more breath. Nice deep inhale in. And exhale out. You've got it. Relax the knee. Uncross the leg. Repeat it all over on the left side. So left ankle, right knee. Grab that right hand around that left ankle. Left hand to the top of the uh, sorry, left hand to the top of the left knee. Roll that pelvis forward so you already feel that opening through that left hip. Keep yourself right there. Take a nice deep inhale. If you've got more mobility to play with, exhale, gently push that left knee down, holding yourself right here. Go through those two breaths, deep inhale in and exhaling out. And one more time, nice deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. Excellent. Releasing the left ankle away from that right knee. Now bringing your feet all the way together. We're going to work on eagle pose. So you can do a modification of it, which is the first thing I'm going to show you, or you can go for the gusto and go for the total seated yoga pose of eagle if you want to. So take your right leg and gently cross, um, cross it over your left leg. So that is option number one. Take your right hand and touch your left shoulder. Left hand comes to the underside of your right elbow. Sit yourself nice and tall, relax your right shoulder down. And then in this position, all you're gonna to try to do is gently pull your right elbow towards your left shoulder. So you're getting a little tiny bit of hope opening through your left hip here and a little tiny opening through your right shoulder. So this is the modification of Eagle Pose. Now, if you wanna try complete Eagle Pose, you can work with me next. If you want to stay right here and just stay right here, then do that. But to go more and deeper with your legs, you're going to take that right foot underneath the calf of the left leg. Then you're going to bring both of the hands in front of you so that your left elbow is underneath your right elbow. Flip those hands up and grab those hands and gently lift your elbows up to shoulder height, but pull your shoulder blades down. So you either stayed in the first position or you chose to give this one a try. Wherever you are, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, focus your mind, and let's do two beautiful deep inhales and exhales through our belly. So nice, slow inhale into the belly and exhaling out. And one more time here for me, deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. 
You got it. Whichever one you chose to be in, release the hands and then slowly release the legs, uncross the feet and place the feet next to one another. Okay, let's do the opposite and let's talk through the modification first and then we'll try full chair eagle if you want to. So left leg just gently crosses over right leg. So you're putting a little bit of tension into the right area, specifically the IT band and those, those things. That would be where you'd stay here. Modification for the arms. You're gonna take your left hand to your right shoulder, right hand to underneath your left elbow and lift your elbow up to shoulder height, but take that left shoulder, relax it down. And then you're just gonna gently, gently pull the left arm towards, or the left elbow towards the right shoulder. So by all means, feel free to stay right here. If you wanna try the full eagle pose, go back to the legs for a minute and see, can you wrap that left foot behind that right shin or right calf muscle? Then you've got the positioning of the legs. Once you have yourself there, what I want you to now do is place the right arm underneath the left, bring those hands up and around, and then lift those elbows to shoulder height, but pull those shoulder blades down. Both groups of people, wherever you are, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, gaze at your elbows. Let's go through those beautiful two breaths here. So nice, slow, deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. And one more time, deep, slow inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Gently relaxing the arms, gently uncrossing the legs. One more group of muscles of our hips to open up in our chair before we make our way down to the mat and those are our hip flexors. So just very gently turn yourself to the left side of your chair, place your left arch of your foot underneath your left knee, line up your kneecap with your second toe and then take your right foot and slide the right foot back until the right knee sits directly underneath the right hip. Bring your hands forward and rest them onto your left thigh. Doing a gentle hip flexor opening today in this position, take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, engage the abdominals, engage the hamstrings, feel the opening through the front of the hip. Now lengthen your neck, settle your chin and gaze downward onto the floor. Let's do those two beautiful inhales and exhales here. So keep that pelvic tilt. Give me a nice deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. And one more breath, deep, slow inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Releasing the tilt of the pelvis, slowly rotating yourself back to the center and then bringing yourself all the way to the right side of your chair, lining up that right foot first so the knee lines up with the arch of the foot and then the kneecap lines up with the second toe. Once you have that, go ahead and slide the left leg back until the knee lines up underneath the hip. Once you're in that position, take both hands, gently rest them onto the right thigh so that your rib cage is not behind you. And let's go to it. So take a deep inhale and on the exhale, tuck that tailbone under, really engage through those abdominals and hamstrings. Feel that opening through those hip flexors. Shoulder blades back and down, lengthen the neck, settle the chin, gaze down at your floor, holding it right here. Let's do a nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out, one more breath, deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Beautiful, releasing the pelvic tilt, slowly bringing yourself back to the center. Okay, we are officially done with using our chair to sit on. So here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to take your chair and place your chair at the end of your yoga mat. Once you have your chair placed at the end of your yoga mat, gently bring yourself down to the floor and find yourself in child's pose at the other end of your yoga mat. Once we are all there, we will finish class on the floor. Well, here we are in child's pose. 
So let's go through a couple alignment cues here before we focus on our breath. Make sure that your knees look about hip distance. And gaze back and see that you can't see your feet, your heels or your toes uh, coming inward. Gently settle your sit bones towards your heels. Let your elbows rest down beside you. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin, and gaze straight back between those big toes. Okay, deep inhale as low into your abdomen as you can. See if you can even feel that pelvic floor spread. So take a nice, slow, deep inhale in. And then gently exhaling out. And one more time. Nice, deep inhale into the belly. And slowly exhaling out. You've got it. Now gently walk yourself up. We're going to be on our hands and knees for a moment for a couple of cat cows. And then we're going to use this just for one more thing before we lay on our back. So check in as you come up on hands and knees that your hips are directly on top of your knees and your hands are underneath your shoulders. Now, if you're really tall, don't let your head hit your chair. So just push your chair back. I do not have that problem. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I just snorted. Wow. Okay. So index fingers, point them forward, thumbs inward, spread out those outer three fingers, get those elbows nice and gently straight. Let's go through those cat-cow movements for me. So take an inhale and sink your belly, lift your tailbone, shoulder blades back and down, lengthen and look all the way up. And then as you exhale, pull that belly up and in, tuck that tailbone under, spread those shoulder blades, chin to gas, chest and look into that belly button. Two more times for me, please. Inhaling and sinking. And exhaling and curling under. One last time for me. Inhale, sink that belly, lift that tailbone, shoulder blades back and down, lengthen that chest and neck upward, knees upward. And then as you exhale, curl everything under, tuck that tailbone, rib cage curls, chin to chest, gaze to that belly button. You got it. All right, and gently bring yourself back onto your hands and knees position to neutral tabletop. Very good. Now, walk yourself slowly forward to your chair so that you can get your elbows onto your chair. Now, we're not doing anything too difficult, so don't worry. It's not like, oh, no, we're going to do something too hard that I cannot do. We are not doing that today. All I want to do in this position is a variation, a variation of uh, a pose that's going to allow us to open up through the upper part of our back that we may not be able to get to if we just use our, our yoga mat. So find yourself in a position that you feel like your shoulders and your elbows are relatively stacked one on top of the other. Then what I want you to do is take your legs and bring your legs the width of your yoga mat. You've got it. Now that you have yourself in that position, keep your hips stacked directly on top of your knees and just very gently walk yourself forward onto your chair. Now, if you feel like your chest is hitting your chair and your hips are coming back behind you, just allow your legs to walk back enough that you don't have your chest hitting your chair. In this position, all I want you to do is gently fire log your arms one on top of the other. Rest your head down onto either the chair or your arms, completely a matter of where you are. Now, here's all I want you to do. Rest your head and let your sternum, let the bone in the front of your chest sink towards the floor. As it's sinking, let it feel like there's maybe a 10 pound weight on the back of your spine and let it sink some more. Okay, now holding that position, take the deepest inhale into your chest that you can. And then exhaling out, one more breath for me. Nice deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. You've got it. Slowly bring yourself up. Bring your hands to the floor. Allow yourself to lay down through your side so that your head 
is on the opposite side as your chair. And once you have your head on the floor, have it so that you can rest your, uh, your heels, but not your calves on your chair. So your chair is enough away from you that you can rest your, your heels and your feet on it, but not your entire lower leg bone. That's where we want to be right now. You've got it. Okay, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, take your right knee to your chest, hands around that shin bone, take a nice deep inhale, and then as you exhale, just pull that knee into the chest while the left leg is resting on the chair. Allow yourself to lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Let's do a beautiful deep inhale into the belly here. And exhaling out. One more time, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Slowly straighten the right leg, rest the right heel onto your chair. Take your left knee to your chest on inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly bring that knee into your chest. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin here. Take a deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more time, nice, slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Gently relax the left foot to the floor. Once the left foot is on the floor, somewhere in the midpoint of the chair, then take the right leg and gently cross it over the left leg. Arms slowly bring your arms gently away from you out to the side of you in T formation. The right leg is going to take the left leg to the right. So the top leg is pulling your legs to the right side. So allow yourself to take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, let that right leg do its job and pull that left leg over. Feel that pelvis lift. Feel that low back lift. Feel that rib cage lift, but keep that left shoulder blade on the floor. Then lengthen your neck, settle your chin, and turn your gaze towards that left thumb. Uh, let's do a nice couple deep breaths here. So deep, slow inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. And one more time, nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. And gently bring your head back to the center. Start at that left rib cage and slowly use those abdominal and spinal muscles to unrotate that rib cage, followed by that low back, followed by that pelvis, and then that knee. Uncross the right leg, put the right foot on the floor right next to the left leg, and then take that left leg and cross it over the right knee. Now the legs are going to the left side and the left leg is doing all the work. So take a nice deep inhale here, exhale, pull that right leg to the left, feel that stretch through the hip and pelvis. Keep lifting as the low back lifts, the rib cage lifts, shoulder blade stays down on that right side. Lengthen through your neck, turn your gaze towards your right thumb. Let yourself take two beautiful breaths here. So nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. One more time, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. And slowly bringing your head back upright, starting at that right shoulder blade and bringing that rib cage down first, followed by the low back, followed by the pelvis, and then finally the hip. Uncrossing the left leg over the right, taking your right knee to your chest, followed by your left knee to your chest. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, gently bring those knees to your chest, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Take a deep inhale into your belly here. And exhaling out. One more beautiful breath, deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. Excellent. Right foot gently place it up onto the chair. Left foot gently place it up onto the chair. 
Allow your feet to kind of rest on the chair where it's comfortable for you. Find that neutral pelvis position. Rest your shoulder blades underneath you. Gently allow your arms to rest out to the side. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Rest your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Gently close the veils of your eyes. And here we are. Final yoga pose, resting position, savasana, corpse pose. It has many names. Just let yourself be. Did you find yourself really paying attention and time just got swept away today? Or did it take every single bit of you to stay with us? Where were you during today's class? Wherever you were, if you made it to the end, congratulations. You committed an hour to your body and your mind. Allow yourself to take a nice, deep, slow inhale into your belly here. And exhaling out. Let's do that one more time. Deep, slow inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Now gently wiggle your toes and your fingers and maybe do some circles with your wrists and your ankles. And then when you feel like you're ready, place the right foot on the floor followed by the left. And gently let yourself roll to your right or your left side, depending on where you are. And rest there for a nice, slow, deep inhale and exhale. And when you feel like you're ready, using your bottom elbow and your top hand on an exhale, push yourself up into a seated position. Find yourself in easy pose with those legs gently crossed, however is comfortable for you. Relax yourself so that your hands are at the center of your heart and there's a beautiful smile on your face. Take a nice deep inhale in and exhaling out. Namaste. The highest in me salutes the highest in you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>